Christina here with your Kids Spotlight. We are continuing our series in Revelation, learning from the letters that Jesus wrote to seven churches. Throughout our series, we want to be picturing Jesus walking around his church. Picture Jesus sitting in the room with us. Where would he sit? Who would he talk to? What would he think? Are you ready to hear about what God wants to teach us today? Today we are learning from the letter to the church in Ephesus. Ephesus was a big, thriving city at that time. People loved to shop and trade there. There was lots of idol worship being practiced, which wasn't great. And there was a strong church present in that community. Jesus starts by pointing out some of the wonderful things that this church is doing. They are hardworking. They serve well. They stand up for what is true. They don't believe in lies or let people teach them things that aren't God's truth. And they have been faithful in hard times. Being a Christian in Ephesus wasn't popular, but they patiently experienced the jokes and bad treatment because they knew that Jesus was Lord. It sounds like these believers were doing pretty great. Look at all the wonderful things that they were known for. But Jesus isn't finished. He has a growth area to point out. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 But here is something I hold against you. You have turned away from the love you had at first. Think about a time where you received a new gift. Maybe it was something that you were really looking forward to. What happened a few days, months, years after you got it? Did you care about it in the same way? Take a moment and talk about it. I often find that, especially with things, I get tired of them or they definitely lose their excitement as time passes. Jesus is calling out the church and saying, hey, remember me? You don't love me and other people the way that you used to. This is a serious problem. Following Jesus isn't just about doing the right things. It's about having the right heart, which will show in the way that we live, the way that we love. The Ephesians weren't loving Jesus and people with the same excitement and intentionality that they once did. It was kind of a thing they did, sort of rather than the focus of their worship and church community. Southwest, how can we love Jesus and others well? Let's brainstorm. Now, don't just talk about those ideas. Actually do them. That will bring great joy to Jesus' heart. On the kids page of our website, you can find resources that you can use as a family to grow closer to Jesus together. We'll see you next week, Southwest. Bye.